What's going on guys, Kitchi1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and what I want to talk to you guys about today is some of the potential release dates for the upcoming DLC in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now first let me be clear that this is going to be a speculation discussion type video, kind of like the videos I used to do before Grand Theft Auto 5 came out. Uh, if you're familiar with my GTA 5 talk, we're going to be doing something similar to that where we look at things from the past and we use that knowledge to predict the future. So why don't we get right into this. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the previous games that came before Grand Theft Auto 5, and the two that we're going to be looking at today are Grand Theft Auto 4 and Red Dead Redemption. Now as you guys probably know, both of these games had DLC that came with them, and also not just DLC, but DLC that expanded the storyline. Now I want to make clear that I'm not talking about just like new weapons added and stuff like that, because we've already seen that DLC in GTA 5, but what I'm talking about is, you know, a new storyline, a new side story, or something that introduces new characters. Um, you know, just something that expands upon the story that we already know, so that is what we're focusing on. So, Grand Theft Auto 4 came out on April 29th, 2008. Wow, it already sounds like a long time ago. And the first DLC that came out for that, that actually added a new side story, was The Lost and the Damned, and that came out on February 17th, 2009. So, that right off the bat there is roughly 9 or 10 months after uh, GTA 4 first released. And then the second DLC that came out was, obviously, The Ballad of Gay Tony, which was really great. In my opinion, I really liked it, and that came out on October 29th, 2009, which is, oh, I don't feel like counting, but roughly six to seven months after the first DLC, and uh, roughly a year and a half after GTA 4 came out. So with those two games right there, you've got about a nine month wait, and then an additional six month wait for those two, two DLCs. And then uh, that was pretty much it for GTA 4. We saw no more DLCs after that that actually expanded upon the storyline, and uh, that kind of wrapped up Grand Theft Auto 4 as really a great game. So then Rockstar moved on to their next work of art, and uh, when that came out, that was called Red Dead Redemption. So I'm not even going to explain what that is. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you are familiar with Red Dead Redemption. And anyway, that came out on May 18th, 2010. Now the first DLC, actually the first and only DLC that actually expanded the story was Undead Nightmare. And that came out on October 26th, 2010. So this time, Rockstar didn't wait as long, actually. Uh, it appears that the first DLC that expanded upon the storyline came out roughly four to five months after the game came out, which I think is pretty interesting. I think that Rockstar could have probably waited a little longer to release that, but, um, you know, they chose to release it when they did. And it's also important to note that there were other DLCs for Red Dead Redemption. However, they did not expand the storyline. They were things like uh, new maps, new weapons, new vehicles or things like that, you know, nothing that actually added uh, new cutscenes and stories and things like that. So, by looking at this information, we can kind of predict the future, and uh, I say kind of because obviously, you know, we can't smack down an, an official release date, but what we can do is get an idea for when we can see the DLC coming out for Grand Theft Auto V. However, there are a few things that we're going to have to consider, and I'll explain that in a second, but now let me just say this. Grand Theft Auto 4, I would say, you know, we had roughly a, a nine-month wait until the first DLC, and Red Dead Redemption, we had, let me see, uh, June, July, August, September, October. That is a five-month wait, so a five-month and a nine-month. Uh, having said that, that means that, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5 should roughly be the same. However, uh, it's already been out for, geez, let's see, October, November, December, January, February, already five months, and we also have no word of it. So obviously, it's not going to be a short five-month wait like uh, Red Dead Redemption. And, um, you know, it, it's more likely that it's going to be closer to nine months to a year, in my opinion, given the, uh, the past history of Rockstar Games. Now, the things that I said that uh, we would want to consider is the fact that we all know that Rockstar is behind. On, on everything that has come out for Grand Theft Auto V, they have been behind with everything so far. And, you know, we, we still have heists to come out, you know, we're still waiting for that, and there's really no sign of them, barely any information on them. And uh, it's very clear that Rockstar just kind of had a little more on their plate than what they could eat. You know, they they just they had their hands a little full. So, um, having said all of that, I think that we might be waiting upwards of a year until we see the first DLC, a year after the release date anyway. So, um, you know, in the end, this is just my opinion, and you are entitled to form your opinion, and that's actually what I want you to do. Just take the information that I give you here and, uh, you know, think for yourself. This is really just, as I said, my opinion, and uh, I just kind of wanted to elaborate on this and, you know, expect with you guys on when we can expect the first DLC for Grand Theft Auto 5 because I get a lot of comments saying, you know, do a GTA 5 talk style video where we talk about things that we can expect in the future and things like that. So that's what I wanted to bring you guys today. Um, so I would say predict the first DLC, my best guess, I would say possibly the month of 
oh geez, at this point, <laughs> August or September, I really think we'll be waiting nearly a year. Maybe July earliest? I don't know. That, that's my opinion. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm genuinely curious of what you guys think here, and uh, I will be reading the comments on this one. And also, a uh, reminder, check out the uh, giveaway on Twitter that I'm doing. Just click the link in the description below if you're interested in winning $20 in free gaming merchandise. And with that, guys, please stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto 5 in the future. I will see you next time.